सो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मॉड्यूल नंबर फोर एंड लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी थ्री सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द सेल्फ ऑफ द बॉडी एंड फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ द प्रजेंट स्टेट ऑफ द सोसाइटी so if you observe the present state most of the time or commonly you will be able to find or observe that misutilization of physical facilities has become an important issue in the present civilizations so it is very common to see common to observe that rather than right utilizing the physical facilities people are tend to misutilize this available physical facility unknowingly unconsciously the culture of show off and use of use and throw seems prominent nowadays and it is again very common that rather than reusing things again and again rather than reutilizing the things again and again a culture of show off and use and throw seems prominent nowadays even you can see it a very common things available around you like a pen so you will see that many pens are designed in a manner that people use and throw it so this use and throw culture is increasing day by day which is basically misutilization of physical facilities so misutilization of physical facilities can be seen in two forms number 1 indulgence and number 2 accumulations so in this two form misutilization of physical facilities can be thing either people are accumulating more and more or they are indulged to get happiness from those things so indulgence and accumulations both are misutilization of physical facilities which are basically leading to exploitation of human being and nature also so whenever we get indulge in things whenever we try to accumulate the things we start exploiting human beings either you are aware of it or not aware of it but it starts happening because if you are accumulating more and more without the clarity of your needs it means exploitation of human being and nature will happen so although living in a relationship with human and rest of nature is naturally acceptable to us on the contrary due to lack of wisdom due to lack of right education we are adopting such life style which has become exploitative so unknow unknowingly we are exploiting human being and rest of nature so for example you can understand this uh, with the help of an example for example a person who doesn't know about his needs who doesn't know about about the self about the body coexistence of the self and body and he doesn't know about the need of the self need of the body and he is habitual to get indulged into physical facilities so with the help of technology now it has very easy to order things using internet so for example you order something on amazon once you order it means resources are cut for you trees are cut for you so if i am not clear about my needs i am exploiting unknowingly the nature even sitting at home so with the help of technology it has become very easy to exploit nature also so if this kind of understanding we don't have we unknowingly exploit nature with the help of technology so that's why there is a need to avoid such kind of culture avoid such kind of kind of show of uh, culture in our society and what are the reasons for misutilization why people are misutilizing the self the body the physical facilities though intensely every one of us 
want to live a happy and prosperous life intensely we want to have a good relationship with human being and rest of nature but why then it is happening that we are misutilizing the things unknowingly so let's find out the reason so one reason could be materialistic world view regarding happiness and prosperity so today's world view is materialistic world view so in materialistic world view human is considered as a material thing made only of the body and rest of nature is assumed to fulfill all those material need related to human being so in fact our notions of happiness and prosperity has become very materialistic so now happiness is seen as getting more and more sensual pleasures from the body and somehow prosperity is defined as to accumulate more and more so because of this materialistic world view our notion about happiness and prosperity has changed and because of these notions are changed changed now we are exploiting human being and nature unknowingly so a materialistic world view has influenced the present civilization and is spread over worldwide <coughs> so this materialistic world view has influenced the present civilization and is spread worldwide in fact all the countries are accepting this materialistic world view irrespective of geographical region irrespective of caste creed this materialistic world view has influenced all over the world and in such a world view as i told you the perception of human happiness has become primarily materialistic it conceives that present sensory interaction with selective material objects is the prime source of happiness so we have assumed that this materialistic objects are for happiness that's why unknowingly unconsciously we are indulged to get happiness from these materialistic object using our sensory pleasures but since all the sensory interaction are inherently transient in nature this can never lead to a continuous happiness so intensely we want continuity of happiness but unknowingly because of our wrong assumptions we are trying to get this sensory sens sensory pleasant sensory happiness and this sensations are inherently transient in nature that's why our desire of continuous happiness cannot be ensured with this sensory interactions because they are transient in nature and transient sources cannot be a source of continuous happiness so somehow we have assumed it wrongly that's why unconsciously unknowingly we are misutilizing the things and because we want continuity of happiness and in an attempt to make it perpetual continuous efforts is made to maximize and perpetual happiness through this mode by trying to evolve and indulge in more and more materialistic interaction of newer kinds it means we want continuity of happiness but we have assumed that continuity of happiness can be ensured through materialistic objects that's why to continue our happiness we are continuously trying to accumulate more and more object more and more sensual pleasures around us that is making us to misutilize the things unknowingly so it is also responsible for widespread modern ethos for profit maximization and increasing accumulation of enjoyable goods and services so this wrong assumption this wrong world view is actually responsible for this widespread modern ethos where profit maximization or accumulation more and more has become a prominent prominent characteristic of our lifestyle so we can say that one of the primary reasons is materialistic world view because of this world view unknowingly unconsciously we are exploiting the nature 
so you take pause for 2 minutes and think over it whether this is right or not and you evaluate yourself are you exploiting or misutilizing the things and if you are misutilizing the things then ask yourself what is motivation factor behind this why are you misutilizing the things even your intention is to right utilizing the things so explore yourself and ask what is your motivation why are you misutilizing the things you can do this exercise at your home by sitting at your home very in a simple manner so explore this what are the motivation factor for you that are forcing you to misutilizing the things further under the influence of such a perception of happiness efforts to ensure prosperity so we have already understood the prosperity means having more than required physical facility feeling of having more than required physical facility but under the influence of this materialistic world view this definition has been modified unknowingly and now this manifest in triggering more and more accumulation of enjoyable goods and services so under the influence of this materialistic perception now definition of prosperity is to accumulate more and more enjoyable goods to make a social structure which would ensure sensual pleasure for each one of us so under the perception of this materialistic world view we have changed this definition of prosperity and unknowingly we are accumulating more and more enjoyable goods which are mix exploit uh, which are misutilizing the natural resources and along with this mis misutilization the outcome is exploitation of human being and exploitation of nature also so therefore one keeps feeling deprived and wanting more and more because inherently no amount of material accumulation can make happiness continue it is very important so because of this misperception although we have lot of things physical facility with us but in fact we are feeling deprived because we are not clear about definition of happiness and prosperity we are not clear about ourselves and we are thinking of everything under the influence of this materialistic perspective and under this materialistic perspective we have assumed that human being is body and needs of human being is equal to physical facilities and feelings and needs of feelings naturally we want in continuity and that's why we are trying to continue this feeling from physical facility so with this wrong assumptions we are trying to get feeling of respect from clothes from house from car we are trying in this manner but if we are trying in this manner we are accumulating things more and more because our basic assumptions is wrong so assumption is human being is equal to body but what is the reality reality is human being is a coexistence of self and body so in the lack of this wisdom we have assumed ourselves as only body and we are trying to accumulate unlimited physical facility because we want continuity of happiness and we are trying to get happiness from this clothes house car etc so this is a gross misunderstanding which are making us to misutilize the things so you can understand from this figure also we are in a loop we are in a loop so physical facility we have enough but we don't have a feeling of enough we always feel deprived in ourselves and we make more effort for physical facility we again accumulate physical facility we again feel deprived and in this manner we are trapped in this loop all of us are trapped in this loop and this is the effect of it so because of this materialistic world view all of us are trapped in a loop 
where we are not able to find out a right path. So what are the effects of this misutilizations? So one effect is effect of indulgence shows up in the form of being harmful for health and causing ill health. So because we are indulging sensual pleasures, because we are indulging materialistic object, so somehow it is harming our body. It is damaging our body because we are not able to right utilize our body in the lack of right wisdom and somehow we are using our body to get more and more happiness and as a result as it's causing health issues it is causing damage in our body another ill effect of accumulation is that other people are deprived of physical facility so few people who have enough ability money wise they are accumulating more and more things and because of those accumulations rest of the people are feeling deprived and this is resulting into inequality jealous and feeling of opposition in the people and at the level of nature it definitely puts unnecessarily pressure on resources of nature which may result into resource depletion pollution as we have already discussed many times in this course <coughs> so this is ill effects of misutilization so one side we are not able to make ourselves satisfied because of this wrong assumption and another side people are feeling deprived nature are getting exploited because of this misperception of materialistic world so you can do this exercise pause take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself whether you are a victim of this world view or not you can also observe the status of the today society and see whether these things exist or not if exist what is the way to come out from this state how can we help society to come out from this state this you can do little exercise at your home so what is could be the possible solution this indulgence and accumulation is a basically problem of mindset and this problem of mindset can be rectified by working at the level of education and culture effectively so if we work on this education system if we provide a process of self exploration if give the value education in our education system then it will change the mindset of people gradually and once the mindset is changed people will be able to find out solutions people will be having a conducive lifestyle people will be having a good culture and civilization that will promote this right utilization so transformation of this mindset to a higher level it means from animal consciousness to human consciousness is required so if somehow with the help of education if we are, we are able to do this then possible solutions may come out and that will help us to shift from this misutilization to right utilization of self right utilization of body and right utilization of physical resources so let's have a sum up of this lecture so at the level of wisdom it is important to develop the wisdom to discriminate between right utilization misutilization and indulgence at the level of family there is a need to have the mindset and the commitment to a lifestyle which ensures the right and utilization at the level of society we need to develop a culture and civilization which promotes right utilization and restrain misutilization and transformation of the mindset to a higher level is of course a very basic and challenging requirement to solve these problems so that's all from my side for this lecture thank you very much have a nice day